thank you. Um, Barbara and Royce, thank you for bringing that issue up. Uh, I really appreciate it. Lily and Aline, uh, I just wanted to say I appreciate what a massive problem and challenge this is and all that you that you have put into it. The question I have is, I, and maybe those numbers are there and I just missed them, is was there a demand analysis by um, income category and um, geographic region done um, before it was decided how many houses go in each category, et cetera? Um, thanks for your question. The number of homes are assigned to us through a complicated process that the Association of Bay Area Governance is responsible for. It starts with the state saying this is what the need for statewide um, for housing is based on job growth, population growth, and a new category of unmet need. And so those are basically the three categories that the state decides this is how many new housing units that we need. And then they give a portion of it to each of the Association of Bay Area or Association of Governments in our county or in our area. It's the Association of Bay Area Governments. And then that is, that um, the Bay Area Governments entity decides how it's allocated across each city, county, and town within the Bay Area. And that was a lot of information. But within that, they look at you know there's a, a number of factors that they look at they look at does your is your community a preponderance of high income and so if so maybe you need to have more lower income and there's a new part of the housing element that really focuses on those patterns of segregation in our community and making sure that people have access to um good schools and kind of what they're called high income areas um high areas of high opportunity that the state calls areas of high opportunity so those places got more of the affordable housing so richer whiter suburbs like ours got a higher percentage of affordable housing than some of our other communities 